Hello, not our usual background. I thought today would be fun to do a quick little life update video slash girl talk video so we can, you know, chit chat, get to know each other. You know, I can answer some questions, some really juicy ones. So a uh, life update, I'm in Paris. Oh my gosh, I see why the French people don't like me. I'm in Paris. Um, I came here to see one of my photographer friends who shot all the content for my brand, Lavori. And then also my aunt came and I've been posting really crazy content on my TikTok and Instagram. Like we went to a crazy expensive French grocery store. Um, I showed you the tour of this place, which was crazy. We went to the Dior spa. Um, I got a facial that I'll show you guys. I don't really go home for Christmas. Like my family either comes to me or like we meet somewhere. So this is like my idea of Christmas. I don't know about you guys, but I've always had a really small family and I've always wanted a really big one, but like my family is like five people big. So I, I, I um, is anyone else like that? Let me know down in the comments, but uh, that's what holidays look like around here. And one of my favorite things that I actually even brought to Paris is this Kenzie IPL handset that removes all my hair so much. I always recommend it to all my family and friends. And I not only zap myself, but I also zap them I am pretty much hairless on the areas that I've used my handset on. Like my legs are completely hairless. I've been using it for about a year now and I just do touch-ups occasionally. You can see results in as quick as a couple weeks. And the great thing about the Kenzie is that they have a 90 day money back guarantee. So you can buy it, try it, use it. And if you are seeing great results in like a week or two or three weeks, keep it and keep using it because this can make you completely hairless. Um, they also have payment plans available on their website right now so if you can't afford it because you think it's a little bit expensive feel free to use the payment plans I also have a discount code for you guys um, right after I'm done talking about this that will help you save $50 this Kenzie IPL handset is sleek ergonomic has 10 years of flashes and you can carry it around anywhere it's super easy to use all you have to do is plug in the extra long cord and then turn on the IPL handset by using the green button. Once it's on, it's really easy. You just put it on your skin and there's two modes. There's one mode where you just put it on and zap and there's another mode, it's called glide mode, where you just hold it down and it auto zaps for you. And don't worry, you can't zap your friends without them wanting to be zapped because it needs to touch skin to zap. Okay, lately I've been using this on my chin hairs because I do grow hair there. I don't know for what reason, but even as a girl, I grow a ton of hair here. So I've just been zapping them. Um, it feels really nice, honestly. And I've seen results in two weeks already. So I have way less chin hairs now. I'm gonna be chin hair free pretty soon. I would like to tag that as my new username, chin hair free. Okay, but this is good not only for hair, but it also rejuvenates your skin. It can help with aged spots and blemishes and overall make your skin better. So the Kenzie IPL, if you don't know how it works, it's called an IPL because it stands for Intense Pulse Light, right? They have a skin tone chart that's included in the box. You can make sure that it works on your skin. Um, don't go tanning outside when you're using this. It's really important that you don't. And also make sure you shave the spots before and then you use this. I like this way better than shaving because previously you would get so prickly so quickly when you shave. I also hate waxing because that hurts. I hate epilating because that hurts. And also when you get laser done at a salon, you obviously have to show your body part to whoever's lasering you and that can be a bit uncomfortable it's also a lot more expensive this is like a one-time purchase that you can keep forever and use on your entire body you can use it on your arms on your chin hairs on your armpits on your legs on your bikini area on your toes I grow hair on my toes I never thought that would happen to me like help like I said I love this so much I recommend it to all my friends and family and you guys because you are friends and family so if you do want to check it out go to kenzzi.com and use my code BW50. Once again, that's K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com. And it's also linked down in the description box if you guys just want to check it out. If you want results in just two weeks, you can see a difference. There's a money back guarantee. There's payment plans. Go to K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com. And I'm going to continue zapping my family members with this until we're all hairless. In places we want to be hairless, Kate, not on our heads. That was a disaster for another day. Okay. Back to the video. What filler slash Botox do you get if you get any? The only filler I've had is lip filler two years ago. 
It went dramatically bad, as we can see by these photos. I have not gotten my lips filled since. Um, people think I'm lying. I would literally film it if I went to go get my lips filled because it's a really interesting content and I like to overshare on the internet to a million people regularly. So I'm not lying, that's all I have. I don't have Botox yet, but I'm starting to think, I don't need it. You don't need Botox ever, but I am getting a wrinkle. No, I see it sometimes, so. What should my first designer handbag be? So I started this trend on TikTok where I would like share designer bags that I bought that I don't like. Um, and what I've gathered from the information is the bags that I end up regretting are bags that are neutral colors and classic timepieces. And you would think that would be a good thing to buy, but at the end of the day, whatever makes you the happiest is the best thing you can buy for yourself. The more you love a bag, regardless of how trendy it is, regardless of how expensive it is, regardless of how much everyone has it, or if it's the cool girl bag, the only thing that matters is that you love it and it makes you happy and you enjoy carrying it. So I'm not gonna give you a recommendation to buy like a Dior saddle or a classic flap or whatever, because I think you should buy whatever makes you happy and that's the only way to be happy. One of my favorite bags is $300 Prada bag, vintage I got on the real real. Amazing, 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 amazing. How did you meet your roommate? Funny story, this is Gigi, she's my roommate. She's a triple cancer, AKA the nicest person on planet Earth ever. Um, I met her when I was doing a photo shoot for a podcast that I wanted to launch last year on like Thanksgiving. I had just moved to Miami, I didn't have any friends yet. She came to like style the photo shoot. So like our one year anniversary was November 24th, which I think is really sweet. And uh, we had texted a couple times since then, we had hung out once or twice. And I literally just texted her and I was like, hey, I need a roommate in Miami, if you do too, I'd love to live with you. I just felt like her vibes were good from the beginning and she was trustworthy and nice. And I just lived with her and it was probably the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. Like literally when she goes to work or like goes somewhere, I just wait at home and I sit there and I wait for her to come back. Like I cannot wait to talk to her. Every time I go on a trip, if she does not with me, I miss her the whole time. So I, I'm terrible at being alone, but like there's specific people I can spend a lot of time with and Gigi's one of them and I'm really happy I met her. Have you ever considered going another shade of blonde? I said that I wouldn't go brunette over my dead body, but now I'm really considering it. <laughs> to be honest, it's not coming from a place of I don't like myself platinum. I like myself platinum in real life. It tends to look a little weird in YouTube videos because depending on like the lighting and the shadows, it can make me look kind of washed out. Um, but the thing about platinum is if I start doing highlights or if I bring brown down, that's it until my hair grows out. My hair cannot handle being like having some brown in it and then going back to blonde. It will fall off again. We will have a hair disaster a la point two. So it has to be a decision that I make with a lot of like forethought, which is not really my strong suit, let's all be honest here. And also I change my mind every five minutes. I said I wouldn't dye my hair brown, now I'm thinking about it. I said I wouldn't post a boy on the internet and then I posted two of them. You know, um... Blair, how do I stop stalking my ex-boyfriend? Um, you just stop. You find somebody new to obsess over. I'm kidding. It's just like, think about all the time that you spend stalking him. I'm not going to say I don't ever look at my ex's profiles. I don't look at it from a place of I still have feelings from them. I look at it from a place of I'm curious and I'm bored and I want to see what you're doing. Um, but I don't need to be wasting time doing that. Every single time you do that, you waste valuable minutes. You could be laughing on TikTok. You could be making a TikTok. You could be making a career. You could be hanging out with your friends, girl bossing. I think just make yourself super busy so that you literally do not have time to stalk them um, because it's not going to lead to anywhere good at all. Either you're going to regret that you broke up with them because they're going to make their life look so good on the internet. By the way, literally everything on the internet is fake. Everything on the internet is fake. I'm fake. I'm not a real person. I'm an AI. Actually, did you guys see the new AI generation thing? I, you know, why is mine cross-eyed every time? I mean, it's okay. I'm just wondering why everybody else on the internet looked so hot as their avatar and I didn't. And why mine is naked in the majority of the images. I just would like to talk to whoever invented these AI things because I feel like someone did me dirty and I had to pay $3.99 for that. And I'm disappointed because I thought it was free. Ha, Blair, how do I stop binging? Um, okay, this is a sensitive topic. The thing that I would recommend is you talk to someone that you feel safe and comfortable with, and then you stop punishing yourself for a normal human reaction, and you don't 
restrict after a binge you just go back to eating normally the best thing to do after a binge is to forget about it and eat normally try to eat when you're hungry stop when you're full eat what's yummy because i feel like the things that cause binges are restrictions so think about why you're binging and try to eliminate that cause instead of trying to just stop binging because i feel like it comes from somewhere like are you sad because sometimes when you're sad you want to like fill that hole with something um are you restricting yourself too much to where your body's too hungry are you never allowing yourselves treats like sugar or chips and then all of a sudden you see them and you can't stop eating them um just think about why you're doing it and then try to eliminate the root cause instead of punishing yourself for it my favorite perfume i really like louis vuitton contre moi I just, um, just introduced me, Jess is one of my friends and she's a content creator and she introduced me to a bunch of different perfumes actually and she showed me what all the girls wear in Paris. Um, it's the yummiest thing I've ever smelled. I forgot what it was called but I'll put it up here. I also really like pink sugar. I know it's a very inexpensive perfume. I like the body sprays from Bath and Body Works. Like anything that smells like sugar and candy. Sorry, there was a World Cup today. England was playing. France in soccer and French people won and so they're screaming all night and that's great I'm happy for them. So if you hear the screaming nothing is going on out there. It's just celebrations Okay, that's all the time I have for today. I'll love you a lot. Wanna out. Bye